Hi. Speed is the buzzword in today's world. It is important in all operations as it saves time and increases productivity. Same thing applies to our canteen operations as well. It is desirable that canteen processes, like managing transactions, records, billing, that is, all processes starting from placing order till delivery, are managed faster, smarter, and simpler. Matrix Cafeteria Management Module appropriately serves this purpose. It focuses on concept of faster and hazel-free canteen processes and fulfills all your needs of an e-canteen. Let us understand how to configure COSEC Cafeteria Management Module. This process includes the following steps. 1. Configuring COSEC Door Controller as an e-canteen device. 2. Configuring prepaid or postpaid policies and related user configuration. In this video, we will see the first step, that is, how to configure an e-canteen device. Any COSEC door controller can be transformed to serve dedicatedly for e-canteen purpose. Let us see how to do this transformation. Go to Devices module and add Direct Door V2. For more information on this, refer to our video on how to configure Direct Door. Here, select the application as eCanteen from the pick list, and then click on Save button. There are three different methods of upgrading firmware. 1. Through COSEC Utility. 2. Through COSEC Door's web page. 3. Through COSEC Monitor Application. Let's start with the first method. To open COSEC Utility, follow this path. C colon backslash program files backslash matrix backslash COSEC monitor backslash COSEC utility dot exe. Open COSEC utility located in matrix COSEC monitor folder in system drive. Select the controller type as direct door v2. Enter the IP and MAC address of door controller and enable eCanteen flag. Then, click on Start. You will see your COSEC door controller transforming into an e-canteen device. We did this successfully. Now, let's see the second method of upgrading firmware through COSEC Door's web page. Open the web page of device by its IP, and then enter the username, which is admin, and the default password, which is 1234. Then, select Firmware option. There, select the firmware file for an eCanteen application from COSEC Monitor folder located in System Drive, and then click on Upgrade. We did this too. Now let us see the last method of upgrading the firmware through COSEC Monitor application. Open COSEC Monitor application. Here, Right click on the device defined as eCanteen door and select Upgrade Firmware option. Device will be transformed into an eCanteen device. Done again. In case of Direct Door V2, after the upgradation process, the device returns to its default state. That is, all previous configurations and events are erased from its memory. The controller also reconfigures its network settings to factory defaults. I am sure this video will be useful to you. For the second step, do watch our videos on configuration of an eCanteen prepaid and postpaid account. For more information, please contact Matrix Technical Support Team. Thank you.